Mary and the Witch's Fire was made by Studio Panic and is about this girl who moves to London to live with her aunt and her housemaid and kind of feels like she doesn't belong till one day she finds these glowing flowers in the forest and that kind of throws her into this world of witchcraft and wonder in which she then possesses the ability to do spells and everything. So this movie, or at least like all the other movies that we've really dove into this month, the animation is superb. It's, it's beautiful. It is very reminiscent of the Studio Ghibli films, which makes sense because the stu Studio Ponic was created by people who used to work at Ghibli, Ghibli, whichever it's pronounced, I apologize. And you could see that within the animation. There is a little bit, there is some smoothness I've seen in this, but like it, it just, you can tell that these are people that have worked for the same studio and have brought their skills to a new, brand new uh, company. And I love it. Like both seeing a movie like this made in 2D animation makes me wish we got more of that here in the States. And that's not to say that we don't have them. We do. It's it's not quite as... It's not more commonplace. If this movie uses any computer, I'd be very surprised. But I just... I wish we... It makes me wish we had more hand-drawn animation cartoons. And I know that takes more time for the most part. But it, you could just tell that all the whole world and the characters and the creatures, they were all sketched out. And I love spotting that in a movie like this. Uh, another thing I really like about this is are the UK influences. You can really tell they did their research because this almost feels like this really could have been a UK made film despite some more Eastern style of animation. It, it, the world and the way the characters act and the way they talk and the, the things that they do, it, it very much is like a British sort of production. And I love it. I, I really do love it. And another thing I love about this has got to be the world that they create when they get to the School of Witchcraft. This movie, to me, seemed kind of like Alice in Wonderland meets Harry Potter in some ways. It, it's very much another one of those like person falls into this world they never knew existed and kind of finds like ends up finding the, in, themselves inside this big mystery that's what this movie is the characters of Tibbs and Flanagan both have got to be my favorite character Tibbs the cat has this character that's really funny without having to say a thing Flanagan very much a Scottish stereotype but Whenever he's on the screen, I always get a laugh. I love his character. I want to see more. And I want to see more of this world. Like, this movie made me want a sequel to this world. Even though it doesn't need a sequel, I, I would love a sequel to see more about this world. Uh, the, the thing about this movie that I kind of wish I got more of was more character depth. There's, there's not much of that to this movie. Most of the characters are pretty much... They're pretty on the nose. Like you, you know who the bad people, like who the villains are the in this movie, and you know who's the sidekicks. You know what's going to happen, what the MacGuffin is for, and who the missing person is supposed to be, which is kind of unfortunate. Like for a younger audience, they probably won't know, which is great for them. Once you're when you're an, a more older person, you can kind of get an idea from the get go. Other than that, like there, there's not much of a problem I really have with this movie. This movie is very charming. It's very imaginative. Just something I wish there was more of was uh, more fleshed out characters and maybe a little more, more of a complex plot. Other than that, this movie, it's, it's a beautiful movie. It's a very sweet movie. It's a very entertaining movie and one that I would actually love to see more of, like more of if there was a sequel. I know it's based off of a book. I've not read said book, but I, I'm intrigued. Kyle would be intrigued. I would love to see more of this world. With that being said, guys, that's this episode of uh, anime. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this series because I have. I've really enjoyed seeing uh, these movies. If you've not seen these movies, 
definitely take a look. Also, if you've not seen my other episodes I've done, Ghost in the Shell from 1995 and also Weathering With You. Definitely check out Weathering With You especially because that movie was really entertaining as well. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Otherwise, I appreciate you all and I can't wait to see everybody again in the next video.